Namaste and good day. Today's topic is the power of wise and positive thinking and how to cultivate it into day-to-day living. Now, just positive thinking is not enough in life. Positive thinking is opposed to negative thinking. So, therefore, there is a conflict in positive and negative thinking. But if you include wise thinking, which results in positive thinking, wise thinking takes into positive and negative without creating a conflict. It's very important for you to understand. Right? Wise thinking understands what is factual and leads it into a creative mode which becomes positive. Only if you take positive, positive is in conflict with negative. So, look into this, how to cultivate in life. Through a simple story, I will tell you. Right? The story is, a person, atheist, suddenly got a dream. And the dream was so real. And in the dream, it is said, the Lord says, I am divine. The Lord comes and descends as white light. I am divine. Please do a service to me. Push the rock which is in the edge of the hill. Push the rock which is blocking, right? So push it. Do this service to me. This man got up. He is an atheist. He doesn't believe in God. But the dream was so real. And do some service. He says, what is so difficult? Right? He goes there outside his house. And there is a huge rock. Right? He has to push it. He doesn't believe in God. But the dream was so real. He tries to push it. He tries to push it. And the more he pushes, it appears nothing is moving. Right? And he feels so disappointed that he is not able to do this much of service. Right? When he is disappointed and suddenly he prays, why is that I am not able to do a small thing? Then again the divine light comes and says, you say there is no result. He says, no result. I push the rock. I am not able to move it. And the divine light says, look at your shoulder. The shoulder has broadened. Look at your palms. Look, look at your biceps. Look at your forearm. It has become by the struggle of pushing the rock. There is invisible and visible effects. Your heart has become stronger. Your body has become stronger. Right? Now pause for a moment. Sometimes our difficulties, it appears we are not able to solve. But those difficulties will give us some strength, psychological, emotional, spiritual strength. And this is what Bhagavad Gita is not talking of just positive thinking. The Bhagavad Gita is talking about wise thinking and wise thinking resulting in positive thinking reflect of the story. The Bhagavad Gita, one of the greatest literatures, talking about wise thinking says, you have to embrace detachment. Tasmat asaktaha satatam karyam karma samachara. The Krishna says in the Gita, they practice detachment. When you practice detachment, embrace it. Detachment means not indifferent. Don't be addicted to what you want. If you are addicted to what you want, then you suffer and get suffocated. Detachment is, I do my best and leave the rest. I am not addicted to my desire. I will have desires, but the desires will not have you. So detachment is a very important dimension in the Bhagavad Gita. Because as you are living, you have to detach when you die. You have to detach to your body, detach to the family. So practice detachment is beautifully thought in the Gita by creating positive and wise thinking. Uh, read my previous blog, it is on the top. Next important according to the Gita is navigating through challenges. See, life is full of challenges. Don't be a victim of challenge. Every problem is a challenge. Problem means what? Something which is thrown at. So any, at every situation, when you are a young boy, young child, some challenges are there. When you become a youth, some challenges are there. Something is thrown at you. When you are middle age, some challenges. Old age, some challenges. Problem is something which is thrown at you. And please see, treat problem as challenges. And Lord Krishna in the Gita says, 
how do you handle challenges in a worry mode or in the wisdom mode he is beautifully unfolded and in my blog the link is below you can read it properly next important thing right practicing awareness the key that handling the how to handle power wise and power positive thinking is become aware when you become aware aware your awareness increases observation and when you observe properly you will find intelligence spiritual intelligence gets tapped out and therefore practicing awareness is a very very important dimension we are all victim to what we know awareness is dynamic so therefore practicing awareness is a beautiful very important for this session is learning to be wise thinking learning to surrender most of us overthink apart from negative thinking we overthink all right please see wise thinking you do your best and leave the rest learn to surrender when you surrender a cosmic intelligence will flow and in the cosmic intelligence flow this is a wise thinking you become a channel sir and therefore the power of wise thinking leading to positive thinking is an important dimension only positive as opposed to negative creates conflict thesis antithesis but wise thinking brings about synthesis to thesis and antithesis please check the link below in the description down so therefore for you to read the blog